What's up everybody, welcome to Horror Reviews and let's talk about this brand new slasher film that a lot of people have been talking about called In a Violent Nature. So I know quite a few people that were talking about In a Violent Nature and saying some positive things about it. That's one of the biggest reasons I went to go see it in theaters last night. I probably would have just waited till it came to Shudder because this is a Shudder film, but I went to go see it. Now, this is a film that has a very unique premise and I'm not gonna give like, I'm not gonna go into all the details right now at this moment, but I will just say this is basically the concept of a slasher film, but instead of being with the characters, you're really spending the entire film with the slasher villain, with Killer. So imagine Jason, but in when he's lurking in the woods and the kids and the teenagers don't know where he is, you're there with him now. So then when the teens drive away and like go to the lake house, instead of going with them you walk through the woods with jason the entire film so when he needs to get someplace you're following him and that's exactly what this movie is it's a very interesting concept i can see why they thought it would be a good idea i can definitely see why they hey thought hey let's do a slasher film like we've never seen before and elements of it work for me most of it doesn't but well, let's get into the positives before I tell talk about the things I did not like. First off with the positives, I do think it's a pretty unique idea. It is definitely something new we've never seen before. And I can definitely see this being up people's alleys, just honestly being starved for new horror and unique horror and the slasher genre needing to be revived. I can see people really enjoying this concept. There is some solid practical effects in here there's some good gore yes there are a few good kills one in particular that a lot of people are talking about now i'll get into my negatives about that in a minute but it is a cool kill yes it's inventive it's definitely unique and again great practical effects in there or pretty solid practical effects for the most part i think the creature design or i should say the slasher villain design is pretty cool it's basically jason for the most part and now that's one of the this biggest this film's biggest cons or flaws i guess is that unfortunately it steals a lot from better films and if you think about like building a character or a slasher villain from the ground up you know they designed jason and he evolved through the movies this is just copying that so yeah they did some twists and turns but it's really hard to give them so much praise when they really did just copy from people who kind of evolved the creature of Jason or the, I guess, going like from a person to a creature and that evolution, you know, someone else did that throughout movies. And so it's kind of hard to really give them a ton of credit for that. The other thing is this movie definitely has a tone to it. It feels almost like an A24 film or very artsy, definitely like art house horror, but then meets sort of cheesy slasher moments. And again, I can see how people would like that. Now, this movie is very monotonous and just the pacing is very slow, but I can see how it does get under your skin a little bit. Like after you watch the film, this film is not suspenseful or scary at all in the least bit to me. However, after you watch it, you know, it's like, it's almost like watching like something spin or like watching like something bounce back and forth or whatever. I don't know how to explain that. You know, you're watching him walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. So when you're done watching the film, it's almost kind of like you're like just it's in your mind like you're just, he's walking. You hear the footstep, just like the grass and stuff. And it's like it's hypnotic almost. I will say there's like a hypnotic element to this. I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but I do think that works pretty well. I think it could have worked better. If that's what they were really going for, I think they could have done a better job with that because I think that element works. And it definitely did stick with me for a moment after seeing the film. The other positive thing I'll say about In a Violent Nature is it knows what it is. At least for the most part, I think it has a little bit of an identity crisis towards the end. But like the film lets you know what you're in for pretty much right away. The opening shot is very slow it's a long one shot doesn't move and you kind of know right away this is what i'm in for for so if you didn't know from the trailer or from word of mouth what this film is exactly about or what's going to happen and you thought you were going to get like some fast-paced slasher film 
The film does not try to like trick you. It lets you know what you're in for right away. And I have to say, I will give them props for that. Now getting into my negatives, this idea just doesn't really work for me. It's like literally like you take a slasher film, but you'd show all of the most boring parts, how you get there, how you walk there. And then sometimes it cuts kills. It actually like cuts dialogue, cuts kills, cuts character development, cuts a lot of stuff that's going on. And you're just watching all of the most boring elements of a slasher film. Again, it's a cool idea. I think parts of it work, but it really is just the most boring elements of a film. So it doesn't really work for me. The other thing that really, really bugged me is, you know, when you're watching him walk through the woods, you can't do it in real time. Obviously, you can't. It's not possible the movie would be forever because, you know, people drive places. He's supposed to be traveling pretty far distances and it just wouldn't work so the film kind of cuts you know he's walking he's center framed and the film will just like cut 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 and that adds to that hypnotic element but it's also very frustrating when they're trying to like a lot of the character development a lot of the dialogue is off screen because it's all from your his perspective right so then you're hearing characters talk which is a cool idea but this drove me nuts he will be walking and it will cut like he's moved forward, but the dialogue stays the same. Like the next dialogue, the word is the same. So that doesn't make any sense because he's traveling. Time is passing. They shouldn't be talking as if time hadn't changed. It, they, there should be further along in the conversation or further along in the action or like, you know, something else should have happened when that time he's walking and that really bugged me it was really apparent and it kind of drove me nuts it only happened a couple of times because it doesn't there's not a lot of dialogue while they're cutting but it i noticed it it really bugged me that's an oversight i think from the director and the editor specifically the editor that's an oversight i think they should have fixed that talk about another negative that we're seeing in a ton of films uh, the acting is terrible and the dialogue is awful can we please Write some better dialogue, especially when that's like all you get. You get a villain who doesn't talk and all you get is dialogue sometimes where they're off screen. Can you please write some better words? This one, in my opinion, is so bad. It, it feels to me genuinely like the director was like, hey, just talk about stuff. You're at the lake like, you know, you guys are like hitting on each other so like just say things and then he's over here trying to get to you, you gotta kill time because we have to wait for him to walk all the way underwater to get to you so you've got to just talk and it's really bad dialogue it doesn't make any sense like it doesn't make sense but it also just like people wouldn't say that and it doesn't even like work with what they're saying like they'll say like hey how are you 12 that's what six plus six is and it's like, wait, what? Like the dial just doesn't work. It doesn't mesh. It doesn't feel right. The character development, again, is just paper thin. And it, again, it's just like, I know their goal wasn't to make us care about these characters. I understand that. But you still need me to, like, every time they're talking, I feel like you're making, you're filming, especially with that, like, POV style or, like, this style of being with the killer. It even more so makes me feel like I'm on a movie set and I'm behind the camera. And we're like trying to get a shot and the character the acting is just bad. And like, they're just going over lines. It, every time that they're talking, it makes me feel like that. It makes me, sucks me out of the movie. It makes me feel like we're just watching actors who don't have their lines right. And it's like not working. And we're like on set and that's, it just sucks you out of the film. And, but you know, of course, in addition to that, you don't care about the characters at all or the story that's going on here because there's just no development of them. And yeah, you're kind of supposed to care about them a little bit, even though I know that's not the point of this film. The film is telling you you're supposed to care. By the time you get to the end of it, you're supposed to be at least a little bit with some of these characters that are not fleshed out at all. The story that they write in here is just, again, it feels like they literally have this idea and they're like, okay, idea, idea. Well, what's the story? Uh, Jason, but like with a necklace. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It, that's not really giving anything away because it's just, there's not a lot going on. It feels like they really barely try. The other thing that's very disappointing, and this is the big thing everybody's talking about, the kills and the gore and the practical effects. And while, yeah, the practical effects are pretty decent, 
And, you know, if this movie was in the 80s and it, it, it like felt really grungy, like it's supposed to feel and it felt 80s, we'd probably be pra praising the practical effects and be saying, hey, like this movie is way better than it should be. It's a cult classic, et cetera, et cetera. But unfortunately, it came out in 2024 and it's trying to feel like it came out in the 80s and it just doesn't work for me entirely. The practical effects are good, but they're not great. They definitely look a little bit fake. The big kill in here that everyone's talking about. It's a cool concept. I don't want to give too much away about the kill. I don't want to give it away. But yes, the kill is cool. But gravity and like physics don't work like that. And it looks like they don't work like that. You know, it's it looks like, you know, you could take like some like balloons and fill them up like a clown and like tie them all up and move them around and that would would that like do the same effect is that supposed to look like a person like it doesn't make me feel like these things are actually happening because they feel like jello like it feels like they just like are sticks and you're just playing with them the practical effects don't work well enough to sell the physics that are happening on screen and I know people are just like, you know, it's got that shock value for sure. But it, it just doesn't work for me if you don't have, okay, you have one not a developed character, so don't care about her. And then also you don't have physics that work, then it doesn't feel like a person. So then it doesn't matter. My opinion, it's just kills for kills sake and not in like the way that a slasher film is kills for kills sake. Yeah, there's lots of films like that. This one, that's like literally what you get because you're just walking through the woods. There's not really a chase sequence. There's not really any buildup. It's just kill. Walk through the woods. So they take the time to show us that like it matters, right? Obviously, because they're not showing us a lot of other stuff. So clearly that's an important part. They want there to be kills. And obviously, I don't think that they should have cut the kills. Like that's a really important part of the film. But these are supposed to like matter. But it's that's all it is. It's just, you know noodles getting bent and played with and then blood coming out and moving and someone moving on to the next noodle it just feels like fake people fake stuff it feels like a movie set it just doesn't feel real to me it just sucks me out i i couldn't get immersed into what is going on and a lot of people might say hey this film is not supposed to be taken so seriously but it is because it's shot in four three you know of course it's got to be that full film, not wide. We got that. We got to have that, you know, full 4-3 look to show everything that's going on. You want them nice and tall, right? But like, what is with everyone using 4-3 now? Don't shoot it, not unless you have a purpose. I don't think. I just feel like people are just doing it just for the sake of doing it. It's made to look old. They tried to make it look like, I guess, 80s style and make it look kind of retro. It just, it feels like, why does it need to be that? It just felt like, again, another gimmick. A lot of gimmicky older films coming out that are supposed to look older for the gimmick sake of it. And that just doesn't really work for me. But the film is really trying to take, it seems like it's trying to tell you, hey, we're taking this serious. It feels very art housey. It feels very like we're, they're trying to be intentional. It feels like they're trying to take this film seriously, but then it's not a serious film. So, you know, there's mixed messages here. And yeah, again, like I'm trying to say, like people could say, yeah, this isn't supposed to be taken seriously. It's supposed to be comedic, but it's not really. You know, there's not a lot of fun campiness going on here. It's not a campy film, really. I mean, in terms of like meant to be cheesy or meant to be over the top. So if you're getting sucked out of the film because of these like ridiculous things that are going on or the unrealistic dialogue or the unrealistic deaths and things like that, but then you're also kind of trying to play it serious. It just doesn't work. Now let's just talk about the end. And this could be like a minor spoiler. I don't think there's really a lot to spoil in this film, honestly, except for the kills. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail. I'm not going to give away the kills, but I'm just going to talk about a little bit of a shift at the end, which some people could consider a minor spoiler, maybe. So that is your warning. In the very end of the film, we switch perspectives from the killer, which actually that's another complaint about about this film in my opinion they would they switched from his perspective multiple times and it, i kept making me think why are they doing it because the whole point is that we're supposed to be with him like that's the perspective we're his in his perspective so why did they i don't understand why they switched perspectives to like show them around the campfire 
what was the point of that? It doesn't make sense to me. So then in the end, you know, I switched perspectives so that we're following the girl, following a character at the end. And then it, from my opinion, that just takes the concept of the film, the core concept, and it just kind of like implodes on itself because the entire point was that we are supposed to be seeing a slasher movie from the perspective of the killer. So then when you need to swap back to show a different perspective to make a more interesting ending because just walking through the woods while the you know victim is trying to escape wouldn't make for a good ending they have to switch perspective if you need to do that then your core premise falls on itself it doesn't work you don't have the movie doesn't have legs of sand on in my opinion because you need to switch perspectives in order to tell your story and i just don't think like you can't do that I mean, sure, you can do whatever you want in a movie. Okay, but like the concept is there for a reason. So you need to tell that story. You need to think more about how you could tell the story with that concept. Because we walk, we watch them walk for like an hour and a half, right? So why, why do you need to switch perspectives to tell the story? You need to come up with better writing or a better way to do that. Get creative, you know, do something else. I think the, the fact that they try to like do a 180 and we follow a different character and they try to like show the inside of a car while they're escaping, which I I think that part was kind of cool is you're, you're seeing a different perspective, even though it's not the perspective that you're supposed to be getting from the film. You're seeing a different perspective from like an escape. You're seeing the boring part, you know, the part we never see where they're in the car ride and you know, there's strangers or whatever and they're talking and like, they're just chatting about like what happened. That element, the concept is kind of cool, but I don't, I don't think it works very well. The acting is really bad. You know, this like screaming, almost dying, going straight into like, I'm not talking to you. Just you know. Anyway, my point is, I think that the ending of the film just really goes to show that this film didn't have a concept that worked fully for a feature length film. And I think that just it just proved it to me in the end. Now, I, some people might enjoy that. You know, people are really enjoying this film. For the most part, I've only heard them say concept and kills. Which, I'm just going to double down on what I said. If concept and kills is what you have, but then you only have so many kills. And you d- sort of like implode your concept. What movie do you have, in my opinion? You know, it's like... If this is not a movie where it's just a bunch of kills. It's not high, pay, fast paced or lots of action. So if that's what you have, do you have a movie? Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you checking out my review of In a Violent Nature. Have you seen it? Let me know down below. Or going? are you going to wait for Shudder? Because this is a Shudder film. It will come to Shudder. Or are you going to check it out in theaters? If you have seen it, let me know what you think in the comments. I would like to hear your defense against this film and someone break it down in a, you know, a constructive criticism way. Tell me why you think this film is solid besides just kills and concept. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. Scared on a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.